Hi, in this tutorial I am going to show you how to create this photo browsing app. So, it shows the photos from the photo library of the device and uh, you can click the photos and uh, you can scroll through all the items. You can also zoom on by double clicking on it or you can also use pinch zoom. Uh, it also works in portrait and landscape mode. Let's go ahead and get started. So I am here in Xcode. I am not gonna be uh, writing all the code. I am gonna be copying pasting code from uh, the app that I have already created. So let's go to and let's create a new project. And single view application. Name it Photos App Two. And uh, we are not gonna be using any of these. So click next and create we are not gonna be using storyboard so we can just delete that and uh, when you delete you have to clear out this main interface and now let's first go to the app delegate and see what we have to do there so let's change this simulator to iphone 6 and uh, in the app delegate we have to create a view so that it can go to that view after launch this view controller so let's go to app delegate and copy the code from there so this is the in the date finish launching application so and we need a helper function here go to vc so let's copy that also and uh, we need to import photos so let's copy that and paste it here so we need photos library we need to import photos to use all its all its functionalities uh, and here when the app launches we need to determine whether the app has access to the photos library or not so if the access is not determined then we request the, the authorization and then if the user clicks the ok button then uh, that means it's authorized and it's it goes to go uh, it runs this function which uh, takes the window and uh, we set the background color to white and also embed it in a navigation controller and uh, the main view will be view controller right here and uh, then we embed it and then we just present it but if the user denies the access then we show an alert which shows which has title photos access denied otherwise on the second launch of the screen if the user has authorized the app to access photos library then it, it directly goes to the view controller so now that's all for the app delegate now let's go to the view controller and see what we are so we here also we have to import photos so let's import photos and uh, these are the delegates we need to confirm to in order to use navigation controller and uh, collection view so let's paste all that it's the collection view delegate collection view data source collection view delegate flow layout and navigation controller delegate it's going to complain that uh, it does not confirm so we are going to look into that in later so let's create two variables for the collection view and the image array so this is the collection view that is going to take up the whole screen and this is the image array uh, which will contain all the images uh, retrieved from the photos library so let's go to the view date load function and copy all the code here so here we set the title to photos this is the this will be shown in the navigation bar and uh, we create we declare a layout for the our collection view this is needed to initialize the collection view so we get the collection view and uh, we set its frame to take up the whole screen and, and we assign this layout to here we set the delegate to self data source to self and uh, this is the uh, cell we are gonna create let's create that now so here 
I have that cell so let's copy it and paste it right here so this is the cell we are gonna use uh, it has an it just has an image view and then in the layout sub views uh, we set the image frame to bound up the cell now uh, we need to register this cell to be used in this collection view so this is what this is and the back, we set the background color of the collection view to white and then we add it to the sub view and uh, we need to set this auto resizing mask to the width and height because we want the uh, width and height of the collection view to be flexible so that it can conform to the bounds of the uh, screen when they when it is rotated so that's what this is and uh, we are going to have this helper function grab photos to get all the photos from the device so let's copy that so here uh, we call grab photos and it initializes the image array as empty and uh, we run we fetch the photos in the background queue so that the main queue is, queue is not blocked and it, so this is all the code that we need to fetch images and uh, here uh, we, re we are requesting the images uh, in uh, of size 500 and high, size 500 we c you can change this value to uh, import uh, whatever size you want to import uh, but if you have too many photos and if you have very large size here then your app may crash because of memory issues we fill the image array with the images uh, retrieved then we go to get the main thread and uh, reload the collection view now let's go back and uh, see when we have this collection view implementation so let's copy them So here uh, it shows how many uh, items will be in the, uh, in a section so uh, we are gonna just return image array count so and uh, for the cell we get the cell image and then assign it the image from the image array and uh, when a you when a user selects an item in the collection view then we call this and we go to the preview image preview view controller so let's create that view controller now uh, it's coco attach it's view controller and name it image preview vc next and create so it's gonna go to this image preview vc and which is gonna show the full image and uh, we are gonna pass image array to this variable in the next view control we are also gonna pass the index path which which was clicked here so this variable in the next controller is gonna contain index path so now, now let's go back and uh, copy these functions here here uh, this function is called when the view is going to layout sub views so it is also called uh, it, when the view first loads and it is also called when the device orientation changes so if you if, uh, if you want to make any changes to the layout when the orientation changes you can do that here so we here we uh, get the collection my collection view and uh, invalidate late its layout so that its layout changes to conform to the orientation now uh, we want this is uh, collection view delegate functions to uh, minimum for minimum line spacing for section items and minimum interim spacing for section so we are gonna we are gonna have one point of space between the photos so we just set it one here and here it we have uh, i have this helper function to get the device orientation so let's get that so here, uh, first let's see, uh, there is a built-in function which gives the device orientation, UI device, current orientation is portrait. 
but I tried it and it's not working correctly. It, uh, when I launched the app, uh, the orientation is portrayed in the simulator, but it returns false here. So I use this helper function that I got from Stack Overflow and uh, it returns the correct value of the orientation. So if device info orientation is portrayed, so we are going to have four photos in a row. Otherwise, we are going to have six photos in a row. Uh, let's move on. So I think we have got all, the, got all the functions here. So now let's move on to uh, image view VC. And uh, these are the things that we need to confirm to. So let's confirm to all the protocols. OK. And uh, let's declare all the variables. Okay, so we declare here my collection view for the collection view and the image array, which is which uh, is to be filled from this view controller and past content offset for the index part that was chosen. So we not don't need this code, so we can delete that. Now let's go back and copy all the code from view did load. Here we set the background color to black and uh, then we set the layout for the uh, my collection view. Uh, the scroll direction is going to be horizontal so that we can scroll through all the items. We don't want any spacing or line spacing and we don't want any section inset also. And in now in the collection view we declare here we want it to be the full width and full height and we pass this layout here. Delegate, we set the delegate and data source and then we have got this image preview full view cell here so let's get that okay so we have got the cell here let's see what's in here uh, here we need to use a UI scroll view for the zoom and pinching functionality scroll scroll view already has this functionality built in so uh, we, we are going to use scroll view so I declare here scroll view and an image view and uh, the image view is going to be uh, a sub view of the scroll image so we set the delegate and uh, we don't uh, want any bounces so we set it to false and uh, we want to show the vertical indicator so we set it to true and uh, here you can set the minimum and maximum zoom scale that you want and uh, here we add the tab gesture rec recognizer to the scroll image so that we can double tap on the image to zoom in and then we add it to sub view then we create an image view and uh, add it as a sub view to the scroll image which is the scroll view now here uh, we handle the double tap on the scroll view so if the zoom scale is one it's going to use this function to zoom in otherwise it's going to set this image scale to one uh, here this is the function that gives the image view to the scroll view for zooming view we need to uh, return the view which we want to zoom in here now here uh, we set the frame uh, scroll image frame to the bounds of the cell and image view to the bounds of the cell and uh, here we have a function prepare for reuse so this is called when uh, a cell is reused so whenever cell is reused we want the scroll image of the scroll image that is scroll view zoom scale to be one otherwise when we zoom an image and we then go without uh, restoring it to size one we go to the next image and uh, when the user keeps scrolling and the previous cell which was zoomed is used again then it's gonna have some zoom scale so we need to reset it that's why this function okay so let's go back and uh, see let's copy this collection view delegates functions okay so this is the number of items we want and uh, we set the cell image view to the image array 
and then let's copy these two functions and paste them in here so here uh, when the view will layout sub use this function is called and we want to change the flow layout of the my collection view so we want the uh, scroll view inside the cell to also conform to the bounds of the width so we need to change the flow layout that's why this function we invalidate the flow layout so that uh, now it resize itself to fit the width and height of the screen and then uh, we need to invalidate the layout of the my collection view also and uh, I I saw that when uh, this view will let sub use and we call all these functions uh, without this function uh, the offset of the collection view is not correct so the image is not uh, centered in the view when we rotate the device that is why uh, we need this function so when the view will transition to size it will return we will get the size from here of the current size of the screen and we can take that size and we can calculate the offset uh, that is the current offset of the my collection view and then we can manually set the offset of the my collection view and that is what this function does so I think that's pretty much it so let's run the app and see if it's working properly okay we also need to uh, go to the info.p list and uh, add a description for what we are gonna be using the uh, photo library for so this is the thing that we need to add here so let's copy and paste that and add a description there let's run again and see okay so we are in the app and uh, it, the app asks for the uh, photo library access so if we don't allow it it is not gonna the alert view is gonna go away but the app is not gonna show any photo so we are gonna click ok and let's see the photos are loading in the background although when all the photos are loaded then it shows in the collection view so now we have all these photos here and we can click on the photos, we can browse through them, we can rotate the screen and it will rotate itself. And we can uh, we can zoom on the photos, we can change also. So we have successfully created a photo browsing app. Uh, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, please like comment and subscribe and i will see you in my next video